Welcome back everyone to seeingeagles.com. Coach Mike Bensey joining us now after Carr Suman picks up a 10 point win against Mars Hill and like we just talked about with Tatum Burstrom really big difference between how Carr Suman played in the first half versus the second half and Burstrom big, big reason why. Yeah, you know, in the first half, I thought we were a little bit sluggish and uh, made the wholesale changes there early. I just uh, didn't like our effort. And, uh, you know, sometimes I don't know what it was. Uh, I'm starting to learn more and more that we have more sick people on our team than I actually thought. And, uh, you know, we had one not even here tonight, and Courtney's sick, and Shira was sick, and, you know, we got people phoning up after the game. So there's a little bit of reason for that. At the, you know, at the beginning of the game, I had no idea. And so I had, had the wholesale changes. We were one of 14 from the three. They ran that zone basically the whole game. It kept us out on the perimeter. If it hadn't been for Nikki's offensive rebounding and stick backs in the first half, we may have been down by a sizable margin. But luckily, she came to play and she got those offensive rebound putbacks and uh, you know gave us that one point lead going into the half. Yeah, you mentioned Nikki James. She really took over in the first half, I believe, scoring 14 points. And Tatum Burstrom comes in 16 points in the second half. Nice to have that consistent production. Well, it was, and uh, you know, I thought if we could have buried some of those threes in the first half, maybe we could get on a little run. But we hung in there, you know, with the one point lead, and then coming back in the second half, I knew, you know, we've got good shooters. Uh, we were six of 26 from the three, which wouldn't tell you we're good shooters, but certainly Tatum can shoot it, and I want Tatum to continue to shoot the ball because she got a good stroke. And uh, you know, those four she hit in the second half, or five, whatever it was that she hit in the second half, were certainly huge and helped us, uh, you know, key us to victory. Also, Ansley Ricker in the first game between Carson Newman and Mars Hill, the Greenville native, had 14 points tonight. No points, playing 29 minutes. How'd your girls defend her? Well, we're just going to try and make her put it on the floor. She can certainly do a lot of different things well, but, uh, you know, three balls are killer. And uh, she came over here last year and wore us out. She and Armika Booker both did. And so we wanted to try and contain both of them. We let Armika get get to some things in the first half, offensive rebounds, get to the basket. We did a much better job on her in the second half, and certainly for the game we did a pretty good job on Ricker. Uh, I'd like to have done a better job on number 22, Metcalf. You know, she hit the three threes, I believe it was, in the first half. So, uh, uh, But overall, look, we're happy to get a W. Uh, Ten-point win. We'll take it all day long, especially coming off of two losses. Um, you mentioned about so, – uh, you had some, some uh, ladies with some illnesses. Uh, mm -hmm. You missed somebody uh, who missed and then who was kind of battling that to get in the game. Uh, well, Shira's on antibiotics uh, mm -hmm. coming into the game, and then Courtney uh, was diagnosed with strep yesterday, and mm -hmm. so uh, she just got to where her her temperature kind of went away to make her eligible to play in the game, or yeah. else we wouldn't have played her. Uh, Takaya was had some issues this morning with, with throwing up and that kind of stuff, so she's back in the dorm and didn't even dress out tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Shante was some things happening with her after the game, and uh, so I'm learning more and more that we just have people ill, and that may have played a huge role into why we were a little bit sluggish. But uh, you know, we found some people that came in yeah. and gave us some really good energy, and you know, we found enough energy to pull out a 10-point victory. So I'm very pleased with that. Well, that's that's uh, you know, kind of uh, answered my question. You know, when you mentioned that first, because you know, that first half, uh, just on paper, you wouldn't expect it to be that close. Certainly, a one-point game. You know, with as but you guys even within the losses have been playing versus Mars Hill, right? Um, and uh, and they did they did look sluggish. I mean, Courtney specifically looked slow to me, especially getting down the court after yep. you know on transition and stuff like that. But, yeah, it was just uh, you know sometimes it's hard to explain, and sometimes you get in games like that and you're just not feeling it, uh, mm -hmm. or the vibe is not there, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I thought that second group that came in gave it a little bit of spark, mm -hmm. and then we just kind of held on. And really, those points out of Nikki were really critical, especially mm -hmm. those offensive putbacks from her. If we hadn't had those, we'd probably been in trouble. Um, you know, then you go back to the second half, and we really tried. I think they circled up. They tried to, to do what they could to muster enough energy to get a W. And uh, you know, the threes, three balls will give you energy. And mm -hmm. I think those threes by Tatum were certainly a huge key in giving us energy and certainly being able to propel us down the road or down the stretch of the second half to get a win.